What up guys, Tom again from the State of Real, bringing you back to show you the garage build. Um, yeah, so let's go check it out. Oh yeah, look at that. So special roof uh, truss setup is for the span of those six by sixes. Um, one of my engineer friends drew up the plans for this. I'm not going to drop his name though because there's always that one engineer that always has to comment about uh, another engineer's work. So um, yeah, so I'm all out of lumber and I have nothing else to do today. Um, got a haircut if you couldn't tell, fresh, um, but I have yet to file my piston rings in on my F20B build. So. I have a little shop set up in the basement. I might go start doing that. So uh, we can go check it out. Let's do it. So here we are, guys. This is what a poor man's garage looks like. Um, this house is built in 1901, so it's pretty shabby. Check out this beam that's in the middle of this guy. It's a fat beam. Check that out. Huge. So um, this is what we got set up here. Uh, this is my engine stand. A torque plate that I made at work and freshly honed bore. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then over here, I just got my piston ring grinder, a little cheapy one. Um, of course, I got my vape here. Uh, by the way, <laughs> hate to break it to you, but I got a new vape. It's the Alien TC. Um, yeah, so we got KS Tune, um, H beam rods. We have our, um, these are actually Arius pistons. I don't know if you can see in the bottom here. They say Arius in there. Um, but they're actually skirt coated with, um, what's the company's called? Uh, Swain Tex um, PC9 abradable coating um, to help reduce slap and also to make up some room inside of the um, or because I honed it a little bit you always have that wear oh uh, by the way here's the old H22A got the H22A4 in the car um, this is an OBX LSD for an H series transmission um, of course it got the best uh, Sterrett uh, micrometers but I did cheap out and bought an eBay um, dial bore uh, but ultimately is a dial bore is as accurate as your micrometer is. So um, as long as it's repeatable, it works. But yeah, so this is what I got. Um, got some other parts here. I have heads on heads on heads. I have the F20B head over here. I have a uh, girdle over there. Is that an oil pump? Another uh, blue top uh, H22 head. Cams, cams. H22 head. I actually sold another H22 head um, earlier this week. So, yeah. Oh, uh, one other thing that I forgot to tell you was um, never did this before on an H block or an F block, but um, usually I use closed deck blocks like the H22A, but um, this, time, this time I'm messing around with an open deck, so I decided to go the DevCon uh, epoxy method in order to um, you know strengthen up the sleeves here because we're gonna be running boost and uh, that's why I made myself a torque plate so yeah I'm gonna get to it I'll put it on put the camera on the stand here you guys can watch me for a little bit I'll speed it up so you don't have to watch the entire process but uh, I'm gonna make a valiant attempt at getting all these piston rings ground and put in the block today so I will see you guys later. Well guys, it's been a long day and uh, I am gassed out. 
Um, just got done with all of the piston rings, grinding all of them, and I started balancing the rotating assembly. So we are looking pretty good here. Um, I think the only thing I have to do yet is make a jig. Somehow I lost my old jig, um, but it was made out of wood anyway, so I'm gonna make it out of aluminum at work and see if I can balance my rods and pistons, the whole rotating assembly essentially, and then I'll start dropping the crank and pistons and everything in the block, and we'll be good to go on this build. Um, I think after that, i probably gonna get another oil pump, because the other one that I have that is good is in the H22A4 outside, and I really don't feel like pulling the block just to get an oil pump. So we will see what happens there. But other than that, thanks for watching, guys. Um, hey, if your basement looks like this with all of these Honda parts, or you just like watching some fix-it videos and other engine build stuff, please like and subscribe. Um, yeah, I'd like to show you guys more content uh, eventually, but um, all of the subscriptions really gives me motivation. If you guys have a build going on right now, just uh, drop a comment in the bottom of what you're building. Um, I'm always open to try something new. I have a lot of H22 blocks. Um, this is my first F build, but I'm contemplating doing some more in the future, maybe an H23 nitrous build. I don't know, we'll see what happens. But um, yeah, just drop a comment in the bottom. And once again, thanks for watching. See you next time, guys. So today I'm at work and uh, Adam here had a problem with his car not starting up. The tumbler went bad, so uh, we just hot wired it. This little gear right here, take it out of the ignition column. That shuts the car off. Make sure you got the key in there to recognize it. And give that gear a nice little yank and you are good to go. <laughs>